Harry Potter an extraordinary person, has a scar right after he was born. That signals he would have to fight against Voldemort. That is a cursed scar. Harry's parents are dead. Two old men, one of whom had beard, sent Harry to a woman, since he was very small. It was a powerful curse scar. Cousin is always bullying him, he lived on like that for 11 years. Today is Cousin's birthday, his aunt's husband took the whole family to the zoo. A snake sleeps quietly in a glass case. Cousin woke it up. Harry apologized the snake because of Cousin, and the snake understood Harry. It blinked its eyes. Then a human and a snake talked for the whole day. It can be seen that Harry is extraordinary. The naughty cousin pushed Harry away. He stared at the snake. Harry fell to the ground, he got angry. The glass in front of his cousin suddenly disappeared, he fell inside. The snake got out, it thanked Harry, and left. Cousin tried to get out, but the glass appeared, and he was locked down. The uncle guessed that this had to do with Harry, so he locked Harry down. A few days later, Hogwarts Magic School sent a letter. The uncle was angry when he saw it, he tore it up. To stop Harry from getting letters, he blocked mailbox with wood. But in front of the house, there were more than 100 owls. The uncle was eating cake, while letters piled up from the chimney. Then, to stay away from owls, the uncle took the whole family to an island. That day, was Harry's 11th birthday. No one loved Harry, he drew a cake on the ground, and made a wish. At that moment a very tall man broke into, and gave Harry a handmade cake. That man was Hagrid, he was the guard of Hogwarts school. He handed over the school's admission, to Harry, Harry was invited to study witchcraft. Harry was very happy, but his uncle and aunt didn't agree. Hagrid wanted to handle them, he made the cousin have a tail. Harry felt amazing, he was excited to come to Hogwarts. He had to prepare learning techniques. He needed money. So they went to the Goblin Bank. In the magical world, Hagrid gave the bank manager a key, and a secret letter. The manager took them to a gold storage, opened a door with the key. Inside was the legacy Harry's parents left for him. Gold coin piled up. Next, the goblin took them to the second door. He slightly touched it, and the door was opened. Hagrid took the bag, and asked Harry to keep it secret. After that, Harry came to a magical sticks store. The owner chose two sticks for Harry, but they were not suitable. Then the owner took a special stick, and handed Harry. Harry shined brightly a red color. It seemed that the magical stick had found its real owner. Harry was about to move it but the owner stopped him. He said there were two sticks like that one. One was kept by Harry, the rest killed Harry's parents, and left a scar on his forehead. Hagrid came back, he bought an owl for Harry. When having meal, Harry asked Hagrid, who made the scar on my forehead? Hagrid hesitated for a while and said, that was Voldemort, the boss of this world. Lots of people fought against him, including Harry's parents, and all were killed. Harry was an exception, he was not killed, but even made Voldemort weak and have to hide. Because of that, all witch doctors knew Harry. The next day, Hagrid took Harry to a train station. Harry was told to come to station 9 and 3 quarters, then Hagrid left because he was busy. Harry pushed the cart, between the 9th and 10th station. Seeing a guy crashing into a wall and not getting out, Harry imitated him, he was taken to another world. Don't follow those actions. Then Harry got to Hogwarts by train. There, Harry got acquainted with his first friend, Ron Weasley. Having just heard Harry, Ron showed his great respect. He wanted to be Harry's brother. A servant came with foods. Ron was poor, so he brought his own foods. Harry saw that, he took out a gold coin, and bought all foods. A girl called Hermione, came to their wagon to find lost pets. They became acquainted, and became close friends. The train arrived. Hagrid took them out of the station, and went to a church by boat. Appearing in front of their eyes was the famous magic school Hogwarts. In front of the school, the witch professor told them regulations. There were four buildings in campus. Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. If not being obedient, grades would be minus. In the last year at school, which house got the most grades would receive a cup. After lecture, a house division would be carried out. A boy called Malfoy, came to Harry and introduced himself. Ron smiled after hearing that name. Malfoy was unhappy, he insulted the status of the Weasley family, and even told Harry, you will discover several witches clans be a noble in the wizarding world. You wouldn't want to be friends with this kind of person. Next he wanted to shake hands with Harry, but Harry didn't agree, they broke out without joy. 
Professor McGonagall brought everyone into the hall. The seniors were early. They gathered around the table, wait for Principal Dumbledore to announce two restraining orders. The first is no enter the forest. Second is no enter the restricted area on the third floor. Then the grading ceremony began. Get a magic hat, and wore on student heads. The hat would say which house the student is most suitable for. The coincidence was that Harry's group was all to Gryffindor. Malfoy was assigned to Slytherin. It was said that all dark witches were all from Slytherin family. After division, Dumbledore announced the party begun. On the table immediately appeared a lot of dishes, miraculously. At night, Harry looked out the window. Compared to the previous days, he is very happy now. New students started to learn magic subjects like, poison, flying. Their owls occasionally will send them strange gifts. Flight lesson that day, the teacher taught them how to use the flying brooms. Just call in the broom would fly in hand. A good student like Harry, just tried one time and succeeded. But the fat guy made a mistake, and got height by the broom, then fell down. The teacher had to take him to the doctor. Malfoy held the fat man's memory balloon, he wanted to hide it. Harry couldn't see his friend being bullied. He forgot Hermione's advice, and chased after to get back the ball. Professor McGonagall saw Harry's flying. He thought he would be punished, but unexpectedly, the professor recommended him to the Quidditch team, to be a player. Quidditch is a sport, like flying. In a match there would be three types of balls. The middle one was Quaffle, throwing Quaffle into goal and get 10 points. On two sides were Bludger. The smallest one was Snitch. It's very fast, catch it and get 150 points. In the evening, Harry's team got upstairs, the steps suddenly moved, they came into the restricted third floor. In there was a huge three-head dog, it saw Harry's team. They ran away. Hermione guessed that dog had to protect something. In class, the professor taught them lift magic, speak an incantation to make things fly. Ron didn't spell correctly, Hermione pointed out his mistake, which made Ron ashamed. So, after class, Ron spoke ill of Hermione, but she heard him. She was extremely angry. She locked herself in the restroom and cried. She didn't have dinner. At that moment, a teacher whose head was covered rushed into the room, and screamed, Monsters down there. The principal ordered students to go back to bedrooms. On the way back, Harry and Ron realized that Hermione didn't know what happened, so they tried to broke into the restroom to save her. The monster reached the restroom. He quickly destroyed everything with just a hit. Harry and Ron tried anyway but there was no use. Then, Ron suddenly spoke an incantation. The monster's hammer was lifted, and it hit itself, which made it faint. If Hermione hadn't correct his spelling, the result would have been bad. Professor McGonagall and teacher Snape came. Harry discovered that, Snape's leg was injured. The next day, Harry competed in Quidditch. The opponent was Slytherin House. At breakfast, Harry told his friends that, he thought it was teacher Snape who let go of the monster. His leg injury must be caused by the three-head dog. Then an owl gave him a flying broom. Nice. Nimbus 2000. The teacher released all the balls in the box, throw the big ball into the air. Gryffindor took advantage, and scored two goals quickly. They led 20 points. The Slytherin members changed their strategy. They used some violent tricks but still followed regulations. They quickly made it tie. Snitch ball crossed Harry. Harry chased to catch it, but Harry's broom didn't follow him. It flew in chaos. Hermione discovered that, Teacher Snape was muttering incantation with Harry's broom. Hermione quickly ran to the opposite site, changed his dress, and made a chaos. Harry's broom became normal, and chased after Snitch Ball. Harry finally caught it, Gryffindor won the match. After the match, Harry told Hagrid about that Snape muttered incantation to his broom, and his leg injury. Hagrid didn't trust Harry, because Snape was the guard of restricted area. Then Hagrid accidentally revealed what was in the restricted area. It was the secret of Principal Dumbledore and Nicholas. Christmas came. Harry received a strange coat. The coat once belonged to Harry's father. Who wears it will be invisible. At night, Harry came to restricted area of the library, searched for books about Nicholas. The librarian heard and came. Harry quickly wore on the coat, and didn't get caught. Then Harry saw Snape oppressing ruthlessly another teacher and said, Don't try to fight against me. Several days later, at the library, Hermione found a book about Nicholas. The book wrote Nicholas has a unique witchcraft stone, which could revive a dead man. The three people came to Hagrid again. Hagrid was using an iron pot to incubate dragon's eggs. This egg was sent to him by an unknown person. 
All what happened was observed by Malfoy, he reported to McGonagall. Then four students including Malfoy, were punished for breaking out of dormitory. They had to go into forest, and did duties with Hagrid. The school forbid raising dragons, Hagrid's dragon was released to Romania. In the forest, Hagrid discovered unicorn blood. They must find the injured unicorn, and treat it. They split to act. Malfoy and Harry were a team. They went and saw a black guy, bidding the unicorn. That guy saw them and crawled. Malfoy was so scared that he ran away. Harry was stunned. Luckily a centaur came, sent the black guy away and saved Harry. Then the centaur told Harry to leave. It's dangerous in the forest, even for Harry. Moreover, that black guy drank unicorn blood, can make dying people to prolong their life, but the person who drank the blood would be cursed. That one in black was Voldemort, the conversation ended. Hagrid came, and took Harry. Harry thought over it. He feels that the person who gave dragon eggs to Mr. Hagrid was very suspicious. He had to ask Hagrid. Hagrid said the person wore a black coat, he couldn't see that face clearly. Hagrid once raised the three-head dog. He accidentally told that the three-head dog would be lulled to sleep by music. Harry then guessed that black guy would definitely go to the forbidden area to steal the witch's stone. So he found Mr. Dumbledore to report, but Mr. Dumbledore was on business trip. So they decided to act at that night, to stop Voldemort from taking the stone. They put on invisibility coats, went into the restricted area on the third floor. The three-head dog had fell asleep. They tried to move its leg to have way to go downstairs. On the ground was magic vine, it could tie human to death, but human could be let go if they release themselves. They came to the next door, there were keys with wings inside. Harry observed carefully, and discovered a key with strange wings. It didn't take much to sit on the broom. He easily took the key to open the door. They got through smoothly. Then they came to a room with a giant chessboard. The door behind the white chess, but the white chess didn't let them pass. Ron with his chess talent, discovered that only by winning white chess could they move on. So he told Harry to stand at the king's place. Hermione stand at the queen's place. He would be a horse, and fight against white chess. Thanks to Ron's intelligence, they passed, but Ron was injured. Harry asked Hermione to find someone to help. He would move on. Harry went to steps, and followed it to the end. He saw a guy, unexpectedly that was not Teacher Snape, that was the teacher wearing blanket. It turned out that the teacher with blanket was the bad guy hiding in the school. He was also the one who released the monster. Snape's injury was caused by preventing him. In Quidditch match, it was also him who controlled Harry's broom. It was Snape, who helped Harry to cure the curse. It is true that people should not be judged by their appearances. Next the teacher with blanket forced Harry to stand in front of a mirror and see what's going on. That magical mirror could show what a person wanted the most, such as wearing a blanket seeing him holding the witch stone, but had no idea where it was. Harry saw himself taking the stone from the pocket and put it in. He checked it, the stone was in his pocket. He stated that to the teacher, he saw teacher Dumbledore shaking his hands. Then someone asked Blanket Man to talk to Harry. The Blanket Man took off the blanket, and revealed a face behind his head. That was Voldemort. He merged with Blanket Man. If he had the Witch Stone, he could revive his body. Harry turned around and ran. Blanket Man made fire around. Voldemort lured Harry. If Harry gave him the stone, he could revive his parents. Harry took out the stone, saw it. He looked at his parents in the mirror, and shouted, You're a liar. Voldemort angrily ordered to kill Harry. Blanket Man rushed over pushed Harry down, oppressed him ruthlessly. Harry held Blanket Man's hands with right hand. His hands immediately turned into cinders. Next Harry touched Blanket Man's head, and his whole body turned into cinders. The battle ended. Voldemort turned into smoke, and got away. Harry fainted. When he woke up, he was on a hospital bed. Principal Dumbledore visited him, and told him him the witch stone had been destroyed. Harry asked why the stone was in his pocket. Dumbledore said he wanted to find the stone not to take advantage of it. Although the stone had been destroyed, Voldemort would find a way to come back. Then Dumbledore said, when Harry touched Blanket Man and turned him into cinders, it was thanks to his mother. She sacrificed herself to save Harry, that action was on his hands. But to conclude, it was all because of love. Harry got out of the hospital, when the Best Students Award was announced. Slytherin family came first again, Gryffindor family came last again. But that was not final score, because Hermione was brave, and helped lots of people in need. She was added 50 points. Because Ron played a nice chess game, he was added 50 points. Harry was so brave, he was added 60 points. Finally Gryffindor became the best students of the year. Everyone congratulated on them, they threw hats above. The students started their winter vacation, got on the train. They would come back to the real world. Hagrid gave Harry a diary. There's a picture of him and his mother. Then they said goodbye. The train from the wizarding world went back to the human world.
That's the end of the movie. It was the first episode in Harry Potter series. It became a favorite film of most viewers. 19 years has gone by. It has been childhood of many people. It gave us an insight into the world of witches. Took us on an adventurous trip. Hogwarts is the place where most viewers wish to come. I believe that no matter how many years go by, how old we get, we would still wait for our own owl to come to us.